The default apps on an iPhone are a pleasure to use. They're simple, easy, with a good UI design, and no ads. Okay, almost no ads. But there's one app in particular that I have some serious gripes with, the calculator app. And it's a perfect example of crossing the very fine line between simplicity and a lack of features. So without further ado, here are the best calculator apps for every Apple device, from standard to scientific to graphing. So we start off with an app called Calculator Plus, which is available on the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple Watch. Now Calculator Plus does an amazing job at replacing the default calculator app, or adding it to the iPad. So here are some of the best things about Calculator Plus. Number one, the minute you open up the app, you get a full list of scientific functions even without rotating your device, which is pretty useful, but if you don't want that, you can always turn it off in the Calculator Plus settings. Number two, when punching in numbers into the calculator, you can see the equation that you've typed out, which for some odd reason, the default calculator app doesn't do, and it's pretty annoying. Number three, I haven't seen another app that can do this, but you can change the way that you want your numbers to be displayed. Do you want it to be displayed as a decimal, a fraction, a mixed fraction, in scientific notation, exact form? Well, you can change that. And you can also switch between radians and degrees for trigonometry. Number four, you can turn on haptics if you have an iPhone that supports it. Yay! And number five is just the simple fact that the app looks aesthetically pleasing with smooth animations. So overall, also considering the fact that Calculator Plus doesn't have any ads, it's a really, really good app to replace the default calculator. But there is another contender, which I don't recommend, but many others do, and it's an app called Solves. It's aesthetically pleasing, it has really, really smooth animations, and it also shows the full equation when typing out numbers. And you can also change the app's color from blue to orange, which makes it look a lot more like the default calculator app. And it also has no ads. But the one thing that doesn't make me recommend this is the fact that there are not as many scientific functions as even the default calculator app. So solves, if you like it, you like it, but I don't recommend it. Now we move on to the graphing calculator section. And I wanna start with an app called Calculate 84. So I'm currently doing a trigonometry unit in school, and when we're in class, we use TI-84 Plus graphing calculators. And they are essential to trigonometry, but when I get home and I have to do my homework, sometimes I want those TI-84 Plus graphing calculators as we spend an hour in class every single day using them. But those things cost like $100. I'm not spending that much on a graphing calculator, and that's where Calculate 84 comes in. It's a free app and it almost perfectly replicates a TI-84 graphing calculator. All the buttons are where they should be, all the commands work perfectly, heck, even the command second plus 712, which is used for clearing the memory on a real TI-84 graphing calculator, works on this. Now the app does have ads, but they're unintrusive. They sit at the top of your screen and they don't hamper your productivity at all. So Calculate 84 is a really good app and it's available on the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Now the next graphing calculator, if you're learning algebra in school, then you definitely know what the Desmos graphing calculator is. It's a graphing calculator designed for visualizing what equations would look like on a graph. So if I, let's say, type out the equation, I don't know, y is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6, I can see the vertex, the y-intercept, the non-existent x-intercept, and the coordinates of the vertex and the y-intercept, as well as any other point on the parabola. So Desmos, insanely useful tool, especially if you're in school. And we can't end this video without talking about PhotoMath and Microsoft Math Solver, which both do the same thing. So you take your device and you hold its camera to, let's say, a math problem on your homework. It scans the problem and it solves it with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. It's great for checking if your solution to your algebra homework is right, but most people use it to cheat, so yeah. So yeah, I guess that was it for this video, so thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and also comment down below what you thought, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye Oh wait, I'm still here. So, in one segment of this video, I was wearing AirPods. Try to find where it is. Okay, bye for now. Seriously.